Hi everybody! Welcome back to um, Book a Lunch Day. So today, um, I'm going back to my not experimental route. I am making something I know how to do. Um, I'm making chow mein today. So chow mein is fried noodles. Basically, it's sauteed noodles. Um, you can find in almost every single Chinese restaurant or non-Chinese restaurants, even like Asian restaurant you can find them at. But today's uh, chow mein is a little bit different. It's something that I would do when I am during one of those days, you know, uh, when you're super tired from work and and you have like a family of four that you need to feed and you're just like, I don't want to cook today and you still need to cook. Um, this is something really, really simple to do and it doesn't require a lot um, of time or technique or you can just throw everything in one pot and, you know, serve it to your entire family. It's healthy, it has veggie, it has meat, and it has starch. So it's something super, super easy that you can do with just one pot. You don't need to clean, um, so there's less cleaning. All right, so let's get started. Um, today I'm using cabbage. I already washed them and some chicken, of course, and I also have some onion. Um, for the sauce-wise, just soy sauce, um, rice wine, sugar a little bit, and cornstarch, and we also have some water. Um, water is quite important here, so we will, we will um, we'll need we'll need that today. That's kind of our how we can make it into one pot. Um, um, chow mein. So the idea of chow mein is um, kind of like the I well chow. This phrase, the first sentence, the first character in 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 fried in chow mein is actually saute. Like you don't want to mix stuff together in a pot. That's that's a definition of it. So um, fried rice, it's actually chow fan. It's the same character. So. Um, basically means saute and mixing stuff together. It's a cooking technique term in Chinese. Mian in, um, in Chinese it literally means noodles. So um, saute noodles. I actually don't know why they um, they translated in uh, chow mian in the sound translation and they use character, they translated fried rice into fried rice instead of chow fan. No. Oh well. Anyway, so how we're gonna cut everything is um I want since it's noodle, um I do want to make sure almost everything is in similar size and shape. So I'm gonna cut the cabbage in like very long um in strings. Okay. And if you cut it smaller, it will, it will cook faster. So that's why I'm cutting it somewhat small. Roll it together so it's easier. Just be careful for your, your finger. I just sharpened my knife so it's feel really nice. And then my onion. I'm not going to use a whole half an onion. I'm probably only going to use a quarter of it. And then turn the edge off. Yeah, I, I do this dish quite often, especially during like busy times of the day. Um, like when I'm super tired already and you're just like, I need a break from all this cooking and stuff from life. Then this is something I would do, especially if I still don't want to go out for, for for meal and you you have stuff that you can whip up really quickly you don't even have to add the chicken if you don't want to it's completely okay you can do um sometimes what i would do is i would just make the veg uh, the vegetable dish and then just use um store-bought chicken and that's totally fine too so i'm gonna work with the chicken now first thing is removing the skin but don't toss it, okay? We're gonna do something with the skin. The skin has a lot of oil or fat and kind of like bacon. Um, it will smell really good after you fry it. So we're gonna keep that fat. We're going to utilize it in a little bit um, to make 
additional to make our, our dish a little bit more flavorful and no no waste right my chicken breast has boniness I'm just going to remove the bone from it really quickly quick slice Performing surgery here. That was big nice. Yeah, this is something quick and easy that you can do at home. It's been pretty stressful for me because tomorrow is my husband's birthday. I'm always stressed out on his birthday because I like to cook and um, for friends and stuff. And during January and February, that's kind of the craziest time of the year because it's New Year, it's Christmas, and then New Year, and then my husband's birthday, and then soon after that, it's Chinese New Year. So there's like several events going on every year. And then you have to come up with different um, food every year for each individual event. So this year I got it easy because of COVID. No, we can't have big group gathering, so it's not. As, so I, so you know, less cooking for me. Before it's always like, oh, I need to do this for, for this time, and then making cake. Yeah, it's always been hectic. Okay, so I have removed the skin and the bone from the chicken and a little bit of the extra fat. So now I'm just gonna slice it. Same thing, I'm not going to make it into a big chunk. I'm, what I'm doing is I am making it into kind of like a, a thin slice and then I'm going to cut it again so that we will cook faster. Turn it around, chop it in half. And this doesn't really matter how small, usually by size it's fine. Just one chicken first, put it in there. I'm going to put that over there, and we're done with our cutting. I'm going to be right back. Let me wash my hands really quickly. All right, now we're going to marinate our chicken. So just regular stuff that I always use, soy sauce, um, some rice wine, and my tiny bit of sugar, just a little bit, so it's not too salty, and then just mix it in a little bit before you add in your cornstarch, so you can Really, really easy and fast. Oh, I dropped it. I'll pick it up. All right, so just mix it in. And I will also add in some oil so it's a nice coating outside. So, okay, chicken is marinated. Let me pick up the lid so I don't have to. So everything here is done. We are ready for our pot. All right, so the first thing that we're actually going to do is our chicken. Um, I will usually marinate the chicken a little bit longer, just you know, so it has taste. But because of the restriction, we'll just keep going and it's fine. some oil you want to add in a little bit more um, in the restaurant what they will do they'll actually fry the chicken um, but I'm not going to do that um, pan fry is fine but you just need a little bit more oil that's all the oil that you will be using for the entire dish so you don't have to be stingy about it this. Right, you want to make sure your 
pot is super super hot before you add in your chicken you want to sear it you want to make sure everything is locked in all the flavor is locked in um, so it's really important for it to be super duper hot yep anyways so I am tomorrow's my husband's birthday so I have like whole plan going on it's gonna be it's it's quite stressful I've been planning for like two weeks um, again we're not doing like a huge group we can't be doing a huge group it's just um, like two or three friends it's gonna be something nice and but still um, you know there's food there's like birthday cake I always make his birthday cake so it'd be something nice um, I don't know um, and then there and then in mid February this year February 12th, 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 yes. February 12th, it's a Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year, sorry. It's Lunar New Year, so you know, we have to do another celebration and it will be fun. Um, every year, the Lunar New Year, it's different time of the year, and this year is February 12th. Um, and it's a year of ox. And that's my mom's year. My mom is also born in the year of ox or cow. I don't know which one, whichever one sounds better. Alrighty, so it's hot now. I'm gonna put it in. It will splash, so you want to be careful with that. Just step back a little bit. It is chicken, so you do want to cook it thoroughly. It will be, but I cut it in fairly small pieces, so it'll be really, really. letting it cool down a little bit because I will be adding the onion and I don't want to burn the onion. I still want it to have a little sweetness coming out of it so now I'm turning down the heat. Flame and I'm removing the chicken from the pot. Minus the oil if I can. Alright. But the chicken is still kind of cooking from all the heat outside, so um, you can come back in. Um, we'll add that in in a little bit. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm adding in the chicken fat or the chicken grease that I remove from my chicken. If you don't, if you purchase a chicken without the skin, that's totally fine. Um, you can totally skip this step. And then I still haven't turned on my heat yet, so I'm adding in my onion. Um, I still want to, I like my onion caramelized a little bit. I don't like it when it's really spicy, so I usually do it this way. If you like your onion spicy, um, you can, you don't have to turn down the heat all the way down, so the pot can still be um, hot, and then, and then your onion's gonna be more spicy that way. Because you are you know, locking it in instead of releasing all the, um, let it caramelize, you are you know, locking all the spiciness in. So at this point, my onion is cooking and my chicken fat is cooking. And I'll be removing it in a little bit after um, you know, all the fat is gone or the grease is gone. And I'm not adding in my veggie anytime soon because you don't want to overcook the veggie at all. That would not be good. And the chicken skin doesn't have to stay in there for a long time. 
it really just to add an extra layer of flavor to it and it's, you can skip this step if you don't feel comfortable doing it it's totally fine and now we are going to season it since it's still cooking we're going to season it add some soy sauce to it Sugar to it. Pretty much whatever you add into your chicken, you want to copy it. Um, so your chicken and your noodle are in sync. Soy, some rice wine, and then just let it cook a little bit to let it you know that the sugar dissolve, that let everything kind of incorporate, and then you add in your water. You want to make sure you're adding a lot of water um, that can submerge your rye, uh, your noodle. And then you let it boil. It will be helpful if you put on the lid. So I'm putting on the lid. And then you don't need anything else. We can put this stuff away on the side. And my noodle is right here. And I'm adding in my veggie and my chicken at the very end after I'm cooking my my noodle. And which I'm using a Japanese noodle today, authentic Japanese noodle. I purchased it a while ago. I'm just going to use up all of it. Okay. So while we're waiting for this whole thing going on, I do have a little thing that I need to mention to everybody. Um, the city of Farmersville um, gave the library, the Farmersville Library, a few free masks, a cloth mask in celebration of the 60th anniversary of Farmersville. Um, so I do have a few available at the library if you guys are interested. It's a nice mask and the edge is adjustable so um, you know you can it will be nice for children and adults as well. Um, it looks quite nice. It's, uh, it's a nice color. It fits really well. Um, so if you have one, you can just come by to pick up a few for you and your family so we can stay safe during during the pandemic. Um, and then, yep. So that's that. It's boiling. You do want to make sure it's boiled before you add in your noodle. Once you add it in, you don't want to close it. Okay, um, and it's okay if you add in too much water. I'm just going to let it down a little bit. Traditionally, not traditionally, usually, usually what we will do is um, we will cook the noodle on a separate pot, then you have extra pot that you have to wash, right? So usually what I usually know if I have time and, and you know, energy, then I will do it on a separate pot and you will, you will use a lot less liquid and then you add in the noodle, kind of like when you're making spaghetti. But then, with one pot, is that like you have less dish that you have to worry about. Everything is in one single pot. You just need to make sure your noodle doesn't stick together because it is a smaller pot. But this is so much faster than having to, you know, um, make sure your noodle is cooked through and make sure that you have. It's just a lot easier. It doesn't. It's it's and it's a lot faster too. Make sure that they are not sticking together. Something easy. Separate, separate, separate. So, when my grandma, oh no, my husband's grandma first saw, first time seeing me do this, she's like, 
I didn't know you can do Charmian this way. I'm like, yeah, it's it's been going on, on on the internet for a while, and it's something super easy that you can do. Cause then in uh, the older generation, they don't they she only know how to do the fried rice Charmian the traditional the old way, the old fashioned way, which is which makes sense. I still do it that way when I have enough time, cause that gives you more control. Um, on like the sauce and everything but this is just an easy really it's a really really easy way that you can do to make sure um, to make sure uh, when you when you're in a rush and the noodle that you're using is um, interchangeable as well sometimes I'll use udon and that's just absolutely delicious um, udon it's a Japanese noodle that's um, thicker and it's really chewy and it's delicious. So once I boil, you don't want to put a lid on because you want to make sure your um, the the water, the extra liquid, is evaporating as you're cooking. And noodle takes usually five to ten, five to seven minutes to cook. So during that time, um, the water will will reduce the liquid. And sometimes. When I accidentally add in too much liquid, I'll just you know ladle it out. It's totally fine. But you do want to make sure the choice of veg vegetable. Um, um, I'm using cabbage. Cabbage just doesn't have that much liquid. It won't release. It won't shrink that much. Um, and you cook really, really fast. But if you're using um, like spinach, you do want to, and or even mushroom. If you're adding those, and you do want to make sure um, you're adding it in, you're adding in even less liquid because those vegetables will redu will um, release mo even more liquid into your into your um, noodle. Um, so like cabbage is a good choice. Um, if you want, you can also add in some. Um, what's it called? Um, broccoli. Broccoli is good. Broccoli doesn't re uh, release any, uh, much liquid as well. Um, but you do want to cut it in smaller pieces. Because that will cook faster. <laughs> Perfect. And then... And carrots. Yeah, I have carrots at home for tomorrow, but I'm not using it because this this is my lunch, and I don't eat carrots, so there shall not be carrots in this dish. But if you want, you can totally add in carrots. That's fine. So once the liquid kind of evaporates and you know, um, you can see it's not as much liquid as before. The noodle should be cooked um, at the same time. Just and by moving things around, you help with the uh, with the liquid. And then you can hear it um, if you listen closely. You can start to hear. You will make a little sh sound as the noodle um, clench to the bottom of the pot okay. and the liquid actually be almost um, Sticky because um, the gluten from glucose from the the starch from from the noodle is going to release, right? So it's going to make make it a little bit sticky, which is perfect because the sauce will stick really well to the noodle. Perfect. Let me 
smell really good now. Let's keep let it cook. And the best way to see whether or not your noodle is cooked completely, just grab a tiny piece and try it. It's cooked through. The liquid is almost gone. Well, you don't want to reduce it completely, right? So now it's a good time to add in my cabbage. And my chicken. And just want to mix everything together. Make sure the cabbage and the chicken is completely cooked. Up to then on my toe because the counter is higher. It'd be easier. And if you notice, my flame um, it's always on high because um, I it's, it will really help with reducing the liquid and everything. And if you like spicy like I do, then I will add I will. Add in some um, hot sauce to it. That's totally fine. So this is a noise that you want to hear. Like you want to every time the pot, you want to hear uh, a nice shush noise that the noodle will be made. Now noodle will make. I do not recommend you steam for this kind of dish uh, simply because people cook too fast and it will be chewy. You will, you will, it's very easily to overcook beef if you use this method, um, it's, especially if you're not very familiar with it. Um, I would try pork or um, chicken. I think these are the two best um, protein that you can add to this kind of dish. Beef. Uh, it's a little, you just have to add it at the very end so you don't overcook it. And one pot chongyun is ready. You don't have that much dish to do, you only have one pot. Well, two, including the little th container I used to for my for my chicken. And that's it, that's super easy. Only one pot. It's perfect when you are by yourself, which I am, and it's something really fast. It takes about 30 minutes. And if you're cooking larger pots, you know you can feed your entire family within 30 minutes after a long day from work or if you just want to mix out a quick meal, quick lunch for your family, this is the way to do it. And it has meat, has veggie, and you can do almost everything you want from your fridge. You just need some noodle. And it doesn't have to be the kind of noodle I use. It can also be udon. Udon, uh, usually they sell it in frozen package. And I got um, from um, Asian market or there is a bunch of other udons that you can buy in Target and stuff like that Doesn't have to be Asian market at all And it's fast and easy and it's delicious and then Chicken cabbage I'm ready to go Yum. So this way, the chicken is not overcooked, it's not super dry, and it's just really good. And the noodle, delicious, because um, we added soy sauce before, 
We added in soy sauce before, so the cook, the chicken is basic. The noodle is basically cooked in in um, in the sauce, so it's actually even better than um, you no know, added in in after. And like my said, this is my lunch. I'm starving. All right, so that's all. If you are interested in picking up one of these masks, please just come by the Frommersville Library and we will have them ready um, by the door. If you have any questions, please call your local branch for any upcoming events and everything that you need from the library. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.